Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about importing the Application Enablement Services Temporary CA Trusted Certificate into the variant ACR12 running on a Linux operating system. In Application Enablement Services, or AES Release 7, the default Avaya certificate has been retired, and the server will come with a self-signed certificate which is automatically generated as part of the installation. This certificate is intended to be used for lab use only. It is highly recommended that customers replace all default AES certificates with their own public key infrastructure or third-party certificate. If the customer has not obtained their own certificates yet and need to use this temporary AES self-signed certificate, you can follow this procedure to import it into the variant ACR. Log into the AES Management Console, then click on Security and then on Certificate Management. Under Certificate Management, click on CA Trusted Certificates. This is where you will see the self-signed CA Trusted Certificate, which is new for AES 7. Note that it is labeled for lab use only, since customers should obtain their own certificates for production environments. Also note that this certificate will expire 12 months from the date that the AES was originally installed. Select the CA Trusted Certificate labeled as Lab Use Only and then click on Export. When you see the Trusted Certificate Export page, select all the text from within the Certificate PEM window and copy it to a text editor like Notepad. Now you can either save the file and transfer it to the correct location on the variant ACR server or you can follow the procedure I'm going to demonstrate during which we will manually create the file on the ACR. I already have a PuTTY window open to the AES, so from here I can SSH to the variant ACR server as the root user. Once logged onto the variant ACR, CD to opt, witness, key store, CA certs. You should see that there are currently no files listed in this directory. Next, use the VI text editor in Linux and create a file with the name of your choice. I have given the certificate the same name as it had in AES. Now go back and copy the text that you exported from AES and, on the PuTTY window, press I to insert, then paste the text. Then, to save the file, press escape, colon, WQ, and enter. That will save the file. Once the file has been saved, list the directory to ensure that the file is there. Once this file is created on the variant ACR server, services may come back up automatically, but variant support advised that the ACR should be stopped and started to ensure that everything on the ACR runs properly. The next section in this presentation will show you a few items that you can check to validate that connectivity is re-established between the ACR and the AES. On the AES Management Console, DMCC Services Summary, you can refresh the page to see when the variant ACR establishes a new session. Also monitor the number of associated devices. This field should increase as variant starts to register the recording ports. For TSAPI, you can go to the TSAPI Services Summary and check that the associations are increasing as the variant ACR comes up. Also check that you can see the username your variant ACR is configured to use for AES. Another check you can do to verify that your ACR is using secure ports to connect to the AES is to go back to the PuTTY window you use to SSH to AES or ACR and then perform a netstat for the other server's IP address. You should see that the connection is established on port 4722 and then on the TSAPI secure port range, which starts at 1066. You will want to see that these TCP ports remain stable and established. If you see them go to any other state, the connection is most likely not working. You can also log on to the variant ACR and check configuration and status there. This page is included in the presentation in case you wanted to verify any settings that we used here in this lab test. Then you will also see under the recorder status and server that the links to the DMCC should say active and TSAPI should be up. When you look at the ports, 
you will want to check that the ports showing in Verint are also in a registered state on the AES DMCC Services Summary page. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.